Hey, did you know you can go to ColinMullen.com in order to get art and art prints and stuff like that? It's pretty cool. I, I put art on there, namely like the art you're about to see. That's going to be on there. You could buy it with money or with money. It's how the website works, ColinMullen.com. So, hey everybody, uh, before we get into today's thing, I want to talk about this painting just a bit, just because that's how this entire channel works. Um, so, um, I kind of just wanted to finish off the series that James and Hermes was in, so I went for something that was uh, in, in the same spiritual and conceptual vein as those two. So if you like those two, uh, this one's going to look very similar, because it's based on the same sort of thought processes. Um, so... Uh, I, I was I was happy to finish it off, but then uh, I realized that yeah, most places are not gonna want to try and sell like half naked Roman dudes and s cool looking skulls. Um, so they're probably just gonna be hanging out in my apartment for a while. Um, but in, until um, that's all situated, I get I guess uh, we're just gonna have them here. Eventually, I'll sell them, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, but maybe there'll be a cool coffee shop that'll take it. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about today's thing and stop faffing about. Um, so I was going to talk about what it means to be an artist and the um, just stuff that you, you need to go through and like spiritually why I do art, uh, mentally what goes through my head when I do art, those kind of things. And then someone said something stupid on the internet, so now I'm responding to that instead. Uh, I follow a bunch of like art-related Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, news sources um in general and um i saw this uh article retweeted by one of them uh and it's from forbes i'll link it down in the description and the title of it is the gun that killed van gogh's goes on auction um that's pretty straightforward um pretty much what it says on the tin uh the gun that is history lesson for those of you that don't know uh van gogh died of a gunshot wound it's unclear whether or not it was self-inflicted or if he um, got in a fight with someone and then he um, accidentally fired and hit himself with it um, his family is of the belief that you know it was accidental um, he was also from a Catholic household so it's more likely that they just don't want to believe that he committed a sin as far as Catholicism is concerned or just generally speaking people don't like to believe that someone they know committed suicide they they want it to be a different way um it's entirely possible however that he did get into some sort of altercation and that's why um and, and it just went wrong uh but regardless that we're not really here to talk about why exactly because i feel like more importantly here and and correct me if i'm wrong and i want you guys definitely to chime off in the comments because this is more um there's a lot of opinion here uh, that I'm throwing out on this one. So definitely let me know in the comments. But um, I feel like this is further like fetishization of the idea of the anxious, depressed artist. Um, and just the idea that you have to be mentally unwell in order to be an artist. And um, this more so than probably any other example I've ever seen is the, the glorification of mental illness as far as like artists go like it's literally uh, let's be real most people who are going to be bidding on this are going to be rich people who are bidding on it because it's the, the gun that he killed himself with like that's how it's going to be built that's how they're going to hang it up in their house and they're going to talk to their rich friends about it this is the gun that van gogh used to kill himself with um it, it's it's a bit irrelevant on whether or not it was you know accidental or not I think most of them will assume that it was on purpose. Um, I think that's really unhealthy uh, for consumers of art and artists to assume you have to be mentally ill in order to do art. Um, I know a lot of people who have, um, or I know a lot of people do uh, opt to not take medication because they believe that if they take medication, then they'll lose their edge. And that's just not true. Um, I, I think, anyone who's lived with anxiety or depression knows that it is more of a hindrance to your art than anything else um i think it's also a case of people like to assume that artists feel more things and that's why they they are drawn to doing this um but i, I think it's really just that culturally maybe throughout the world at least as far as like america and, and you know stuff like that goes 
we lost some of the vernacular or maybe we've just never had the words for certain feelings and emotions and so when we see something that rings true with us when we see a piece of art or a piece of music that connects with us in you know such a way that we feel like they felt something that we felt we feel like that they must be more um i don't know that there has to be something different about them when really it's just the acceptance of that did that make sense i don't know um my point is um i guess let's go into like studies and stuff there have been multiple studies showing that there is no when controlling for economic factors uh no real difference between the mental health of artists versus like every other person on earth um, it's really hard to define what exactly makes an artist different than anyone else in a lot of ways. But if we assume people who actually do it as a trade, um, and you take out the economic stuff, namely, if you aren't sure whether or not you're going to get to eat, um, that's bad for your mental health. Generally speaking, you get more depressed if you don't know if you, uh, have the capability of, uh, paying rent. It's just not good for you uh, mentally to constantly be in that state. And, you know, obviously the whole starving artist thing is a completely different issue we need to go over at some point, um, along with how much you should pay yourself. But one thing at a time. Let's talk about the whole, like, tortured soul mental artist thing first, then we'll get there. Um, the, In fact, a lot of studies show more often than not that, like, Artists are, are just as normal as anyone else when it comes to that kind of stuff. It, it's lawyers and stockbrokers and people like that who are more susceptible to um, mental illness for whatever reason. There are correlations uh, between uh, artists and bipolar disorder, but that correlation could not be causation. Like I said, like maybe you're just having really high and low periods because, you know, you, you have crazy bills to pay and you're expected to bear your soul and have everyone judge you that maybe that's just not good for you um it's hard to say and a lot of the studies that say artists definitely have more depression or whatever than the average person also come with a lot of anecdotal evidence over like other evidence like people wanting to say that like i don't know um Edgar Allan Poe was bipolar based on his descriptions of his own work process it but he didn't go back in time and diagnose the dude and it's anecdotal you know i don't know um when it comes down to it if you feel like or if you do i should say have some condition you should take your meds you will be able to do art you remember those dark times you can make art about that still. You haven't forgotten, but you'll actually have the will to do so. And I think people that don't have those kind of conditions don't realize that that's how it works, that um, you just can't do art sometimes. I mean, for me personally, if I'm having a particularly bad time, just a, a really bad depressive anxiety ridden time, it's like, what's the point in trying to create like why why and try and um show people what what what's going on in my head and what's going on in my soul if i'm not special you know like or not even that i'm not special but just like that um I, i'm not interesting or whatever you know the kind of things that a depressed voice would say to itself um so it, when you start believing those lies that that demon tells you you definitely do get into a state where you just don't want to create art and there are you know cor you can see correlations there that people who you know uh have depression aren't doing art in the times that they're lodged to have depression in fact if you die due to your depression you probably won't be doing art either i don't know um i'm getting a bit rambly but um tell me in the comments um like I don't know how you want to chime off on this. I, I guess the question is, like, what do you think about this whole situation with this this gun and this concept of that you have to be mentally tortured in order to be an artist? Like, do you feel like that that's true? And are you an artist yourself? Do you have depression if you want to go into that? Um, understandably, if you don't. Um, like, 
and, and let me know your reasoning behind what you're saying because I, I want to talk about this. I definitely feel very strongly in my opinions, but uh, let me go ahead and thank the people on Patreon who make this whole situation possible because I'm pretty sure uh, because I said uh, like several bad words as far as YouTube is concerned that this video has been demonetized, but hey, if you're Patreon on Patreon.com, you're not only supporting me, but you're also getting a link for sure in the Patreon feed of, uh, you know, the videos when they come out. Um, so, anyway, um, let's thank the peoples. Uh, starting with Wapfu. Thank you, Wapfu. Um, thank you to my beautiful wife, Tilda. Thank you, Theodore Corbier. Thank you, Spencer Kane. Thank you, Plex. Thank you, Flanexia Theoran. Thank you, Oboist Kirby. Still an awesome name. Uh, thank you, Moodles. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, James at Games. Thank you, Geyserzan. Thank you, Duxu. Thank you, Bubba Fair. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Amber. And thank you, Adam Kearney. Um, th those are the people who are at, like, at least the $5 tier up. If you're interested in getting your names in the credits, uh, just, just go to Patreon. It's, it link is also in the description. Um, so here's me signing it and here's me signing out. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. And I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Goodbye.